Hey guys, Joe Rhino here, and today I have a special little video. I was able to pick up some of the new Spin Master Batman figures. I got them uh, from Target, and uh, I got a handful of them. I figured I'd go over them for you guys. I don't know if you can see in the background. I put a little hodgepodge of some of my favorite Batman figures. Out of all the superheroes, Batman is one of my favorites. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the packaging for Batman and also King Shark since he's an exclusive, just so you can see the differences. And then I'm going to open all the figures and then you can, uh, that way you could get a good look at them. And if there's any inserts and the, whatever the mystery accessories are, I'll show those off too. So with Batman, you could see these figures have a first edition sticker on them. I don't know how long that's going to be, if it's going to change or whatnot. And then at the front you have, a uh, the Batman logo, DC, Batman, it says a Cape Crusader on the side, it just says DC, Batman, SpinMasters.com, and then on the back it shows these uh, missions, I'm, I'm thinking this is what the, the mystery figures are, it says Creature Chaos, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, maybe that's like a side thing that they're trying to do, and then all the legal stuff on the bottom, and then you have the barcode. So that's Batman. And then for King Shark, pretty much the same. He's got all the Batman stuff just like before. He's got the first edition sticker. Here's a close-up of the shark. And then on the back, instead of all that uh, mission or whatever, it just has a picture of him. All the legal stuff. And then again, here's the barcode. So like I said, I found these at Target. Obviously, these are Target exclusives. I found the other ones at Target, too. And then uh, they were just in the regular aisle. I heard some people say that they have uh, they have a Batman end cap now. So maybe check your Target, see if you can uh, find some of those. And the new McFarlane 7-inch uh, Batman line. If I find some of those, I'll try to go over those, too. So let me take these out of the package. And then I'm, I'm going to go over the articulation, the sculpt, and the... The accessories and whatnot. So one thing I wanted to show you real quick as I was opening these, there's this little uh, pull tab right here and then I just cut the tape on the top and the bottom and then when you flip it open there's the little mystery boxes that include the mystery accessories. So I figured while I'm doing that I'll uh, go ahead and open those on camera to see what exactly we get. So the top one and we'll see if they're different with all the different characters looks like I got two blades I don't know if these connect or not they look like they might connect yeah so you can make like a big sword the next one looks like a grappling gun and then the last one looks like a battering and then let me check the back again, because it has these little mystery. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if it uh, kind of like hinted, but those look like totally different ones. So I'll take them out, and as I go through the other ones, if uh, if they're random, I'll, I'll I'll try to show what they come with. Here's another quick thing I wanted to show. As I noticed, it shows a collectible trading card which is this little piece of cardboard on the size it's perforated i would have liked it if it was an actual trading card because i have a feeling people ripping these off you know they're not going to rip perfectly and it's just not going to look nice but it is what it is you know these are meant for kids so it's not that big of a deal but i just wanted to show that off too last thing before i get to the figure i wanted to show the little insert that the figures come with if they're different i'll show them because like i said the target exclusive might be a little different this is like a cross sell of all the different characters that they got coming out so there you see batman joker there's the, the rare batman they had him at the store and then uh it does look like it actually shows what the mystery items are so i guess after you look at this it's not that big of a mystery but again there's robin 
I guess he's super rare. I didn't know that. Unless there's a different Robin, I'll have to... Oh, okay. So here's the Robin. My, this is probably the Robin I got. And super rare Robin comes with a Batman mask, a sword, and a look like a bow staff. There's Nightwing, Rebirth, Tactical Batman, Man Bat, and then at the bottom it shows another Rebirth, Tactical Batman, Man Bat. I think that's a two pack. There's a Robin and Nightwing, so maybe that's a two pack also. Like I said, we don't really have a lot of information. And then at the bottom. There's a Rebirth, Batman, Joker, the Rare Batman, and the Rare Robin. So I don't know if these are these coincide with whatever the background is. Maybe that's what the difference is. So far to me, it looks like like this Robin has like a chrome mask. This one looks like a silver mask. This Batman has got a blue sword. The one on top has a yellow sword. He's got a gray gun, grappling gun. This one has armor. And this one has some type of blaster. So, as I go through them, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what they do or what they have. And these are the different, uh, I guess, backgrounds. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if there's like a little mini game or if there's an app or... I just got them for the figures. It says, find the super rare bat gear. So, we'll have to see what that is. So, uh, now I'm going to go over the figure go over the articulation and all that and uh, let you know what I think about that. All right, so up first I got Batman. And as you can see, um, a lot of people are complaining about the sculpt and how they look too kiddie-like, but these are toys that are made for kids. So that's why I'm, you know, I'm excited for these because not only are there toys out there that kids can get, but these are actually pretty articulated for kids' toys nowadays. So I'm gonna go over the articulation real quick. All right, sorry about that. I don't know what uh, showed up or not. My light ended up dying. So I'm going to go over the articulation again. I'm going to have to edit this and try to put it together. But he basically has a swivel head. He does does feel like there's a ball, some type of ball joint up there, but I, it's not moving up or down at all. And then on, there's a like a ball socket hinge joint on the shoulder. So it'll go, go around, it could go out, go down. Same thing with the elbow. It can uh, bend at the elbow and then you could twist it. Twist it at the elbow. There's nothing at the wrist, which is kind of expected. And then for the torso area, there's no waist. There's no torso joint. Again, expected. It's a kid's toy. But I'm really surprised with uh, the thighs and the, the leg cuts here. We have a, uh, looks like a, a ball peg in there. So he's got pretty good range of motion. Maybe not going back. He's got a swivel cut at the thigh. And then again, same with the elbows. He's got a, a ball socket. You could bend into the knee. Go about less than 90 degrees. And then he swivels again. Nothing at the ankles. Same with the wrist. And then he does have a soft goods cape. He's got this big peg in the back, which is a little... Like I said, these are made for kids, so it doesn't bother me too much, but I'm assuming there's going to be backpacks and stuff like that. So I'm going to open the other figures now, and then I'm going to go over all of them in general, because they pretty much have the same articulation. If I notice anything different, then I'll point those out and then show those to you. I thought I'd go over the accessories as I open them, because it might get a little confusing after a while, but here's King Shark's card. I took that off. The one thing I did notice about King Shark on articulation is obviously he doesn't have any type of head articulation, but his legs, he has the swivel at the at the thigh cut, but he doesn't have any type of knee articulation. That is a little uh, disconcerting, but he's got the same elbow and the shoulder articulation. The accessories he comes with, he comes with his uh, blue blaster, his blue, I don't know what this is, looks like it could be a grappling gun and then he's got these two looks like batman gauntlets so i'm guessing different characters come with different things that you could put on batman but these like i said i know these are made for kids and all but this is, seems a little silly i could see uh, if the collectors 
that do buy these or even the kids that get these are these are probably going to be the first things that get lost or get thrown away thrown in a bin or the toy box but uh i thought i'd show that off and then i'm gonna open the rest of them all right so next we have robin and according to this uh little pamphlet that's the rare robin super rare robin and down here another super rare robin it looks like i just got the plain jane generic robin i can't tell in the picture if there's actually a difference on the actual figure or if it's just the accessories that make them rare so we'll have to see you know as more of these become available and people get them see what people get but here's the robin card it's nothing that great it was just robin and nightwing so kind of be interesting to see if nightwing comes with a different card and then as for his accessories he comes with a grappling gun he comes with a it's supposed to be a sword but it's it's pretty short but i guess it's robin size and a bow staff and i didn't show with batman but these weapons they go in pretty well the hands are made out of a soft you know the softer type of plastic like i said these are made for kids you could tell probably be better if you just slide it in or if you wanted to give them a grappling gun i probably won't use any of these i might you might use this sword but i'll probably just display them without any of the accessories but as with batman robin has the same articulation um like i said feels like there's some type of a ball but it just barely moves so really just swivel same elbow same shoulder nothing at the waist same legs and then like batman he also has the knee articulation he's a little harder to stand i don't know if it's because he's he's skinnier but the way his i don't know if you could tell the way his legs are he also has a, a soft goods cape his, I don't know if it's the way they sculpted his butt, but he's like, he's like forward. So you might have to like mess around, bend his knees a little to get him to stand. I finally got him to stand, but. All right, so now I'm going to go over the other two. All right, so with Man Bat, he's the first figure we actually had to put it together a little. Um, going back to this little cross cell. There are two different man bats. Again, I don't know if it's one's a two pack. I do remember seeing someone post a picture of a two pack. I did not get this one. I got this one down here with the yellow blaster and the two orange claws or whatnot. But he also comes with wing. I didn't. I didn't realize this, but he comes with wings, and uh, you basically just have two little holes here, and then you want to plug his wings in little scary because of the, the soft plastic that they use you can see uh little kids pushing too hard and bending and ripping but i thought that was kind of a neat uh addition because you know it kind of be silly to have man bat without his wings and this was a nice way that they could do it but like i said you might have to mess with the pegs a little bit and he is a lot like king shark he, uh, he doesn't have the the joints at the knees, but he does have like a little bend, so he is a little easier to stand and pose. And then as far as the claws that he comes with, I'll go over those real quick. Quick, They just have these little clips on them, and they just clip on the ends of the the hands like that. Like, I'm not going to use those. Those are, those are intended for kids, so I'll leave those for the kids. I'll probably end up throwing them in a bucket. I don't know if I showed off the card, but there's the Man Bat card. And then uh, I have Joker. And then I'll go over Joker. And then after Joker, I will um, do a little some comparison shots with some other 4-inch figures. All right, so for Joker, um, first off, I'll show you the card that came with him. Again, it's just the uh, same thing. It's just a little card uh, artwork. Actually, it might be the same as Batman. Yeah, it's the same exact card as Batman. So that's kind of a shame, but... Like I said, it's not really a card. It's just a piece of cardboard. 
But uh, one thing I did notice as I was opening Joker's accessories, he came with these gauntlets and they have like a, almost like a chrome metallic finish to them. So it got me looking at the little cross cell and then, so at the bottom it shows rare and super rare. And then if you look, I'll try to fold this so I can fit it in the camera. So this is the Joker that I got, and he actually comes with the rare gauntlets. And then if you look at the this picture that they show here, it says collect all the, to say find the super rare bat gear. So I'm guessing that's that's what that is intended for. So if you actually look at so the Robin I got is a regular Robin. And then there's a Batman here and he actually comes with a, a rare, I guess, grappling gun. And then this Man Bat here comes with a super rare armor. You see the little red square. So that's what that is intended for. Like I said, I don't really care about that stuff. I'll just show you the stuff that Joker comes with because it's kind of funny. The little teeth. And uh, I don't know what the thing on top is. I don't know if it was a flower or a... But it has a little windy thing. It stands. It doesn't move or anything, but it's still kind of funny. And he comes with a little rocket launcher, but it's like a kitty version with the... The boxing glove on the front. I actually have... Oh, I thought I had one of the old Mattel ones. And then, like I said, these are the same exact gauntlets that, that, that the other figure came with, but... These have like a metallic paint to it. So I'll put those aside. Joker, just like Batman and Robin, has the same articulation. He is actually a little better. You know, look at his, his elbows. Probably because of the, the, the suit that he's dressed in. But like I said, same same exact articulation. A little Knee worries me a little, the way it's uh, sculpted. I don't know if that's gonna look. I just I bent it the other way and it kind of distressed the plastic. But uh, I don't know. It's got a weird like little nub. I don't know if it was put in backwards or wrong or kind of bothered me. So I'll have to check the different jokers when uh, I'm in the store. I don't know if you can see this little. I don't know what's the point of that because then when you stand him just regular, he does kind of look a little weird. But anyway, so uh, I'm gonna. Set all the accessories aside. I'm going to line up some of the figures with some other 4-inch figures, and then I'll give my final thoughts. All right, so here's the lineup that I got today, and uh, I'm actually really impressed with the detail and uh, the sculpt that they put into these because these are essentially kids' toys, and there is, you know, if, even if you're not a fan of the, the, the clunky kid look, the amount of detail that they put into the, the figures, the, the gauntlets, the boots. I mean, look at King Shark here. He's got, like, scratches and cuts. And, you know, he's got a pretty good... I don't know if he'll zoom in on his face, but he's got a pretty good detailed... And I do believe uh, there's another King Shark that isn't uh, exclusive. It might be part of a two-pack that has the... This just has a hammerhead. So there might be another one that is a regular shark head. But like Man Bat, he's really impressed. Man Bat has always been one of my favorite uh, Batman uh, villains. Just the amount of detail in the face. Yeah, there's not like an over, there's not like a ton of paint, paint apps and whatnot, but I'm really impressed with this line. To me, it can only get better. The, I mean, look at the deep dive that they did on getting King Shark and Man Bat. I think in one of the other, uh, I saw a pamphlet shared online that in uh, some in-package shots of, there's also just some regular DC characters. So it'd be nice to see, you know, how deep they go into the DC universe. You know, I think we're going to be getting a Flash. There's going to be a, I think, Cyborg, a Dark Side. So it'd be interesting to see, you know, how, how far into the DC universe that they go. Um, some of my favorites on kind of hoping to get soon is an Azrael. He's one of my favorite Batman characters. Harley Quinn, of course, Catwoman. It'd be interesting to see what they use for uh, character designs for some of the future characters and, and whatnot. Are they going to go 
you know, who knows? Are they going to do movie lines? Are they going to do anything that is like an homage to like the, the movies or whatnot? So with the kids, I could kind of see them just using like a generic, basic Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn, stuff like that. But the fact that we got King Shark and Man Bat in Wave 1, who knows? You know, the sky's the limits. So like I said, I'm going to get a couple 4-inch figures, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Fortnite. I'll uh, put them side by side and uh, let you guys see the size comparison. And then I uh, um, uh, hope you enjoy the review. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to also do a big video montage of like turnarounds of all the figures. So stay tuned. So here you can see I just grabbed a couple random 4-inch action figures. I started off with G.I. Joe. Uh, the modern G.I. Joe version. And then I uh, have a, a Stormtrooper. Then uh, I have a DC... I think it was called Infinite. It was the Mattel's version of the... I think it was like Infinite Crisis. They're four inch figures. So I put one of those in. It was the only one I have. And he actually had a broken leg. So it was pretty hard to stand. But I, you know, in case someone collected some of the old DC 4-inch figures. Gives you an idea of how well they scale with them. And then Fortnite. I think these, these if kids are collecting the Fortnite for playing with the Fortnite figures, I think that these will go hand in hand with the Fortnite figures because the aesthetic, the sculpt, all that, it's really, they really blend well with each other. And then lastly, I had a, a Marvel Universe from uh, Hasbro. Just to give an idea, like I said, these are mainly made for kids. Um, I could see some collectors that have a, you know, an open mind getting some of these and putting them on. Like if they're a four-inch collector or whatever, getting them put them on their four-inch shelf. Or if, like I said, if they had some of the old DC four-inch figures, getting those and putting them on there. But other than that, um, I, I really think that you know this line could go pretty far. And it'll be interesting to see what they do. So please uh, check the end of the video. I'll do a couple turnaround shots so you can see, you know, the front and back side of all the fi figures that I reviewed today. And then I'll see you in the next video.